Hi and welcome here from GDC 2019 again. I am here with Boyan from Qualcomm and we're going to look at something very exciting and you call it Boundless XR. Correct. What is Boundless XR? Boundless XR is a system, a split rendering system if you will, where uh, we are trying to use the capabilities of the PC uh, with a very powerful uh, graphics card to render uh, a very realistic, photorealistic scenes, if possible. Uh, yet, uh, view it on the untethered device, uh, which uh, needs to have some uh, GPU capabilities, but nothing as much as as powerful as the PC. All right, that sounds very exciting. So, um, this is going to be a reference model that you work on. Yes, that's correct. This is a R and D kind of re uh, reference. Uh, reference design, uh, which actually is going to be picked up by Pico uh, later this year, uh, and they will have a commercial product. Right, Pico Neo 2, I think. Yes. So, so the exciting part is you can, if you want, you can connect this to um, a, a Snapdragon 855 mobile phone yeah. so for the 5G or... Yeah, that if will you be... want to. Exactly. That, that's the next uh, kind right. of level. This... this uh, uh, particular de uh, design works with 845 uh -huh. uh, Snapdragon uh, device, uh, but we have shown uh, a, a setup with a simple viewer uh, tethered to your phone, which you can carry in your pocket, mm -hmm. uh, like 855, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, which is a 5G capable phone, and uh, that uh, provides kind of a similar experience. Yes. Cool. So that's really cool. So um, future products are going to be based on this reference model. If I was a hardware company, I could take that reference model and make my own VR headset out of it. Yes, correct. Wow, yeah. that is that is really interesting. And Pico actually did exactly this, yeah. and they're coming out with a real product that shows this off. Yeah. So will that mean that um, users will be able to play their uh, Steam VR games um, wirelessly on something like this? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's exactly that's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow, that is a very good plan. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to see this happen in this year, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, yeah, uh, with with a Pico design. Hopefully, one day in the near future, you will see this uh, with kind of edge compute mm -hmm. and five G right. uh, exactly. Yeah. Um, so this already works with um, two controllers, or the demo is just now a scene where I look around. Or the demo actually includes two controllers. Okay. Yeah, the the fish controllers. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So uh, tell me a bit more about the demo that I'm going to try. So the demo is uh, yeah part of this uh, uh, boundless XR experience. Right. It's a three scene. Uh, kind of demo where uh, essentially you can think of it as uh, trying to find a hidden object, maybe uh, escape room type okay. of experience. <laughs> I'm better at escape games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be uh, okay. In you'll this give one. me some hints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. So I'm looking forward to try this now on the um, Qualcomm reference headset. It's a standalone headset, and this is tethered to a strong computer via. Well, a Wi or yeah, we we would don't want to say tethered, but it's using yeah. uh, the wi wireless <laughs> link. So it's using the millimeter wave kind of sixty hertz mm -hmm. uh, link using this little antenna here, and okay. we have an access point up there. All right, and uh, yeah, and um, how far away could I be from the antenna? Uh, you can actually we haven't done uh, a very long uh, kind of range. Yes, because we didn't have enough space. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need a warehouse for this. But I'm sure it, it can be uh, safely, let's say, uh, 100 feet. Okay, easily. so in every uh, room at home, there's no problem yeah. to use this kind of yeah. setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, one question I do have. So now there's a antenna, right? And this kind of antenna, like when Pico is using that in their Pico Neo 2, is it going to come with this antenna that you have to plug to your computer? Uh, yeah, so uh, actually I'm not exactly sure what kind of uh, 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 form factor will mm -hmm. be of the access point. Mm -hmm. uh, but the antenna obviously on the device will be integrated yeah. into the... <laughs> not like this. <laughs> yeah, not like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So probably there's going to be some kind of antenna that comes with the Pico Neo 2 or with any of these commercial 
products yeah. that are based on this year on yes. the Qualcomm reference model. Exactly. Boyan, thank you so much for telling me about it. Now I want to try it. Yeah. Okay, let's oh, do it. Awesome. So this is like a training session. You can turn around and try to uh, grab an object. Uh, I think if you if you look down and turn towards me, yeah. Maybe take a step back and look down. Yeah. Yeah. There. You see. Uh, so yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's kind of like a training session to make you comfortable with grasping objects. Okay. Should I put this into somewhere? Or no, you can just toss it because okay. the actual game will be on the next screen. Right. So you are now ready to advance to actual game. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, so now the task is to find that missing object to see uh, there the red outline. I have a feeling it's in this field. Yes, that's a good feeling. Okay, that's even not so hard. <laughs> but remember, this is uh, level one. Okay. Of three. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. So it's going to get more complicated. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but I can tell you guys that actually. It's interesting because what I see right now, it's being streamed from the computer to the headset. So nothing is being rendered on the headset. And that is the big thing that Qualcomm shows off here. And I, I, I couldn't tell latency, which is, which is really cool. You guys have a Oh, okay. So this is Jeff. Put this in here. Jeff. Uh, yeah. And indeed, four or four components at all. So this, it's the way that this is being streamed directly from the computer, and I can't. Just, you can also comment on the quality, well, how do you like that? Uh, I like it, I like the, the quality of the, of the picture or uh, the render scene, it, it looks good, I can tell. It doesn't look like a mobile, um, it doesn't look like a mobile VR experience, you know, I have butterflies flying around, and this would be tough to render, for a mobile device, for a mobile headset, right? Exactly. right? So, exactly. so to render this scene here, this render scene, you need some more computing power, and that's why it's cool that actually your computer is rendering this and sending it over to so the headset. So basically, just like you you see the object is doing this and sending over everything to the headset. Nice. Yeah, Boyan, thank you so much for for showing for showing this off to me. Um, what I, can, what I can tell our viewers here on MRTV is um, that Boundless XR from Qualcomm really works very nice. And uh, it's cool that this is going to be a real product soon. And um, yeah, if you are a hardware manufacturer, <laughs> you can take the blueprints here from Qualcomm and make this your own. So this is being tethered to your computer and can show the, the rendered scene in virtual reality. Yeah. Thank you so much, Boyan, for showing this. You're welcome, sir. So, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this yes. this episode. If yes, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, please do ask them in the comment section below. I will give Boyan uh, the MRTV um, um, the channel so he can find it and answer the, the, these questions. And of course, I'll also try to answer them. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.